morning. I'm Lynn and here's what's happening today at Utopia Farms. So she was kind of, I uh, hate to use the word, ice cold. They're a little bit older now so they should walk better. 53 point turns later. I already caught one. Let's get started. So it's, uh, it's about uh, 3.30 in the morning. So I just had a first timer here. It's a little stressed out. And I just had triplets. Two, two good sized lambs and a little bit of a smaller one but not too small. And, and uh, I'll just tell you what we did here. So I came to the barn at two. Uh, They're all born. These two were pretty lively, but this lamb didn't get licked off, cleaned up. So she was kind of, uh, hate to use the word, ice cold. So quite cold, <clears throat> excuse me. So when you put your hand on, his, on her mouth, her mouth was cold, so I could tube those two lambs, but you can't, uh, you can't, uh, you can't, uh, you shouldn't feed a lamb that uh, can't hold her head up with cold. And she was holding her head up, but she was cold. Now she's, so when I, I had to heat the lamb up, we don't use a heating lamp or a heating box. What I use is, is a hot water bottle. We use a hot water bottle, works quite good actually. That lamb's warmed right up now. I just fed him and he's trying to get up. So hopefully now that she doesn't lay on him because she's got three lambs to deal with. And I just fed him and his, yeah. It's a... So uh, he looks okay now. So that's a, just, a, just a point I'm just trying to make is if the lamb is cold, don't feed it because it's not swallowing and it's, it's not going to do well. The lamb has to be heated up before you feed it. And you can see now he's up, he's trying to walk. So what I'm going to do before I leave the barn here, I'm going to get a new towel and I'm going to try to, uh, I'm going to try to cover him up a little bit and hopefully he gets dried off a little bit. Hey buddy. So, that hot water bottle, and I'll get a new towel for a second, and uh, he'll be fine. And uh, he'll be fine. So I just fed him right now. He's got his head right up. See, he's looking sharp. Hey, bud. So another little thing I do too is, is when I mix up the powder milk. See that little, uh, see that little holes. When I come out to the pen, I lay that holes within the milk. And the reason why I do that, it, it actually lubricates the holes and it's got milk all over the holes. So the second that lamb touches that milk, he'll, he'll want to suck it down. So he gets a taste of the milk. So now I never use a dry hose, the tubing. I never use a dry one. I always put uh, dip it in the milk before you use it. So, she drank a whole pail of water. She's actually chewing her cud. So, she's chewing her cud there. This lamb's in the nurse. So, yeah, a little more care. Lynn won't, Lynn won't like this. Another triplet lamb again. Yeah, we're getting a lot of triplets. And then the triplets are ending up to be, uh, one, of, one of them are being bottle babies, eh? Yeah, so, can't, I can't, I can't complain about it. But that's what happened this morning. Right now it's about 3.30. So I'm gonna tuck him in with, a, a, with a, a nice dry towel with another bottle. And then I'm gonna get out of this barn and try to take a break. Someone over there is screaming for a lamb. Anyways, I'll talk to you soon. What are you guys doing, eh? Is 
See, that's how they. That's that's how they that's how they get out of the pen, eh? What are you guys doing, eh? Oh, you're probably looking for a bottle, eh? Yeah, it's about, it's about, it's, about uh, it's almost four o'clock in the morning. I'm not gonna feed them. Uh, in a couple of hours, we'll be up and we'll feed everybody. So that's that's what they're looking for. Looking for a bottle. So in a way, so. See, he's pretty sharp there now. See him. I don't, I don't think I'm going to bother him. I think I'm just going to leave him alone. And uh, he's got the hot water bottle. Uh, maybe I'll run out in, in an hour and see how he's doing. But he wants to get up, but I want him to dry off a little bit. He's, uh, yeah, he was ice cold when I found him. I thought, don't like that. Cause when you, put your, you put your finger in his little mouth, and his mouth is ice cold, and you can't feed those lambs. That lamb has to warm up first. So right now I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to sneak out of the barn here. Because everybody's quiet. I don't know why she's making such a ruckus. Bottle babies again. These are all these are, these mums are all triplets here in the front. Step one for today is always feeding the lambs. And little mister always finishes first. Hey buddy, you're you're so fast. There, there. He actually drinks more than the others, too, because he's older. But once they're like this, you can see it's pretty fast. The plan is to move these guys to the main coverall today. We'll see if we get around to that or not, but it is the plan. So, as you've seen in past videos, Arnie's having a hard time maneuvering the trailer with the uh, lambs on around all these bales. So, he's just gonna reconfigure them a little bit so we can get some sheep over to the next coverall and out of the main barn. sunny day but it's freezing freezing cold but it's really nice because there's hardly any wind the wind makes all the difference so this afternoon we're gonna try take all these bottle babies across to the coveralls except for the two black ones they're gonna stay with the suffix the two suffix lambs behind and we're gonna get these girls out of here Here. But 
These are a little bit older now, so they should walk better. Arnie's holding one lamb to help maybe lure the whole group. stayed with me the whole time. Good job. Good job. Yes, that was a good job. Okay, we got these guys all on one side. So next thing is to get some bedding set out for the new lambs. We're going to bring the one of the Suffolk groups over now. Okay, we've got a dividing wall up. So these guys are going to have three quarters of the barn now. Got some fresh straw out. And now we're going to work on sealing up, sealing up this back door. I was going to videotape the putting up of the wall, but we did it from the outside, not the inside. And luckily Arnie was here because I couldn't see to put in the screws. There, now you get to see teamwork in action.
this should be a pretty full load. Usually we bring across 10, but we're bringing 12. Hopefully they'll run on nicely. how this works out because this coverall is kind of in an awkward spot for offloading especially with the bales 53 point turns later we're heading towards the coverall <laughs> One at a time, girls. Come on, one at a time, you guys. Got one one lamb who had to run through the feeder. Right to the other end. They couldn't go through the gate, but he could get into the feeder no problem. sheep out in jugs. See that? That's the little Dorset ewe and her black lamb. Some triplets are going out to the pan to play. Come on you guys, go with your mom. 
You're gonna like it. You're gonna like it. brought over can find the bottle holder here so might be a li little more training but one of the 88s came up and to be honest the 88s probably don't even need a bottle I think they are uh, getting stuff a lot from their mom still and this would be their the bottle babies first real lamb races so they'll be excited about that well mister's not too sure but he's by the food trough watching They'll be much happier over here. Off to do night checks again. This is my absolute worst time of the day. And we pretty, we're pretty close to full moon there. It's Tommy at the feeder. We haven't seen him for a while. He's hurt his leg. We don't know what he's done to it, but his back legs hurt. Um, we're still looking at the Dorset that took the little black lamb. She still, she nurses it and she hits it. So we're keeping our eye on her. We're not sure if that's going to last or not. But we're trying. It's been a really long day. Definitely looking ragged today. Um, yeah, the night shifts and the day shifts make you tired. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now.